Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Microsoft Flight Simulator and today we're going to be doing something a little different and I thought it would be kind of fun. Today we're going to be taking the various aircraft out, we're going to be doing some A320 action, maybe some uh, Piper action, some PA44, we're just going to be a little mixing it up, whatever I decide is going to be most fun at that particular location, but we're going to try out some of the world's most challenging approaches and see how they are in the simulator. Hopefully we have some fun and that the very worst you guys, or best for you, you get to see me make a fool out of myself. So stay tuned and let's get to the show. So first on our list today is St. Juliana. That's Tango November Charlie Mike. We're going to be giving this one a shot here. It's one of my favorites. I haven't tried it uh, but once, and that was a long time ago. So I'm kind of excited to give it a shot now that I'm a little bit more familiar with the aircraft. Hopefully I can get that scraping it right off the top of that fence line as you get in the approach that's my goal is to get that uh, that cool shot so we'll see what happens here all right so we're about 10 miles out go flaps one let's start our descent Flaps two here. Start bringing our speed down to our approach speed. One, two, eight knots today. You guys are gonna see the camera go wiggy for a second. Got gear coming down. Deer gear is down. Good. And you're doing it to me again, plane. Get your butt down. Two thousand five hundred. Daddy ain't playing this game, son. All right, we're at six miles. I'm gonna go full flaps. Set our auto brake. We're gonna go medium. Pretty short runway here. Cabin's ready, everybody's ready. It's like a shark coming in for the tech. Had to take a drink of the monster. No, that's not a euphemism. All right, 1,200 feet. Let's take control of this bad boy and see if we can do this. 1,000. Looking to scrape that water line, man. We're going to scrape it down. I want to blow somebody off that fence. That's what my goal is here. Five hundred. Four hundred. We're at idle thrust. Which I feel like is a bit too soon, but... Three hundred. Come on, baby. Two 
One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Retard. Five. Come on. There we go. Wheels are down. Thrust reverse is open. Fine. I didn't retract the throttles fast enough for them. All right, so we are down. Let's see what the replay of that looks like. I hope we nailed it. Feel like we did. All right, here we go. Come on. Come on. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Not bad. Somebody felt that exhaust. A little off center line, but I'll take it. <laughs> Fun stuff. All right. Let's move on to our next one. All right, so for the next one, we're going to be checking out St. Bart's here in the TBM. There's our runway right there. We're going to be coming around from the back end there. And it's, uh, it's quite an approach from that angle, so hopefully everything goes well. This one's, uh, this one's a tricky one. Why is my landing gear down already? My landing gear should not be down already. That's a no-no. Absolutely not, sir. All right, well, got to start pulling some power off here. We are cooking. All right, let's go. Uh, oh, we already got flaps one set. That's interesting. Not sure how all that happened, but whatever. Guess as long as we're there, right? <clears throat> this one's a real fun one, but a scary one. This one might take more than one approach. We'll see. We have so much trim nose down, man. I'm really going to be relying on the reverse prop on this one because I don't think I can hit it. What does that say? Minimum speed. Roger that. tried this landing once before I think it was in the Waco and this one uh, like I said this one gets you this is probably the hardest of the set that I plan on showing you guys it's just intimidating as all heck I try to read this thing right on the edge of a stall here. That's what I'm going to try to do anyway. But this one just really freaks me out, man. So I use this little bowl here as sort of my guide. Oof, gosh. 
It's just so intimidating. It's so intimidating. Oh, great. And that. Oh, that's a nice crosswind. Thank you. Thank you. That's what I needed added to this. And then we dive down. Oh, my gosh. It's so fast. Ugh. Come on, baby. You got to get down. You got to get down. Oh, thank you, reverse prop, baby. <laughs> All right, so I don't know how realistic that roll was. I felt like that roll was really, really short. But uh, let's check out the replay on that and see how it really was. Look at that wind right there, man. That's nasty. And then, oh, here we go. Punch it. Punch it. Come on, you beautiful TBM. Uh, I probably could have held off another half a heartbeat. Ah, oh, she just floated for so long. Yeah, that reverse prop really makes a big difference. Anyway, so pretty cool. I hope you guys are enjoying these so far. Um, this is a real challenging one, especially in the aircraft that don't have the reverse prop. Um, and uh, I remember with the Waco, I'm pretty sure it was the Waco. Uh, it, was, it was a couple of attempts in order to get it down and have enough time to, to get it back off the ground. But let's go ahead and check out our next one. All right, so our next one here... We're at going to Paro Airport in Bhutan. Now we're already configured. This one's kind of dirty, but um, I haven't tried it in the A320. I just don't have the guts to yet. But uh, I think with the TBM, we'll be okay. The only air, the only airplane I've tried this one with is um, the uh, PA PA44. Um, so obviously that aircraft, this one's a breeze, but oof. Getting those wind shears here. And that's what this particular air area, gosh, I can't talk, is known for is the wind shears. The wind shears coming off these mountainsides is just terrible. So we're just going to see how this goes. Maintain our approach speed. You guys have to tell me if you've tried this one and what aircraft you used it with. So the, by the way, for the um, ICAO for this one, it's uh, Victor Qu Quebec Papa Romeo. It's Victor Quebec Papa Romeo. And again, this is Paro Airport in Bhutan. And so where my challenge is going to be is trying to hit the numbers. If I float down to the middle of the runway, in my opinion, that's a fail, especially for this aircraft, because that's, that's not the objective. It's sort of like that last one at St. Bart's. You know, I wanted to hit the numbers on the runway, and I just floated for way too long. I'm going to have to practice that one and figure out a good approach, because on that dive down, once you pass those trees, it really just you accelerate quite a bit. And that's the same thing I was worried about with an airliner here, is you'd have to come over those mountains, because I wouldn't try to make this bank with it. Alright, there it is. Oof. And 
nice little crosswind there. Oh, come on, Mama. Greaser. No, 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 no. What are you doing? What are you doing? Get over there. Well, horrible lineup, but other than that, wasn't too bad. I was expecting it to be worse coming around those mountains. Let's check it out. You know, I know they were down, but it doesn't look like my flaps are down. I hope that's just a graphical error in the replay. Although it still worked out okay, I guess. It required so much right rudder on that to get it back over. That was crazy. Anyway, so this is a fun one. I highly recommend you guys check this out. The pass from the other side is actually what I'm interested in trying with the A320. Coming in like from over here, I believe, is how the approach works. You come down through this mountain pass, and then you turn at last minute, come right over this mountain and on the final. So we'll have to try that out in the A320 here soon. Let's check out the next one. All right, so next we are here at Tenzing. And going way too fast, so we're going to have to come around. Now I have to battle that all that trimming that I did. Whoa. Oof. so fast so fast oh damn that is such an intimidating approach even in a sim is my parking brake on or something no oh what is that We're at full throttle just trying to get up this hill. That doesn't seem right. I'm thinking that's probably incorrect logic there, but I guess you do what you gotta do, right? That can't be good to run these engines up like that for this long no airflow. Yeah, I can't. You have to go max power. Ah, oh, come on, Microsoft. That's BS. That's the physics talking, the weight of the aircraft. Alright, well, let's check out the replay and see how bad that landing really was. Alright, so here we go. There's our approach. Ugh, damn. Yeah, that's tough. Whole different ball game trying to land uphill. It just you just don't get the 
I can't even imagine what that's like in real life. Like, you gotta judge that so, so perfectly. Like, you basically need to be at a climbing speed. And this part's just ridiculous. Alright, so let's check out one more. Maybe one or two more. We'll see. Alright, so this one's another brutal one that's very, very short. So there it is right there. That's it. That's all the runway we get. So we're going to extend out a bit. Aircraft still configured from our landing, so I'm cleaning it up. We'll extend out a bit. And then come back in for the approach. All right, let's turn her around. Let's see if I can do this without messing it up. Gear coming down. Full flaps. Mixture coming back up. Props coming back to full. Oh man, so short, so short. Oof, nope. All right, let's try that one one more time. This is tough. This is a hard one. It's so short. You got like nothing to work with, man. Nothing to work with. This one, you stick the numbers or you go off. Come on, trim. 
feel like ever since the update 4, my trim wheel just is not particularly effective. Try that again. Bringing that landing gear down now. Flaps one coming down. Flaps two. Full flaps. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. We don't have time. Ooh, baby. All right. So that one's challenging as all heck. Let's see what that actually looked like on the back end there. Yeah, honey, let's uh, let's just go to this nice little place for a little uh, honeymoon getaway because this is uh, absolutely fantastic. I mean, because this doesn't look like Jurassic Park. Yeah, let's come here for vacation. Get eaten by a T-Rex. Oof! I panicked right here. I thought I was way too low. I thought I was gonna smash. That's why I throttled back up. Ah, it just floated for so long. I gotta remember to let it drive into the into the runway, but I'm scared to smash that landing gear up. Anyway, that was a fun one. So, guys, that's it for today. Let me know what you guys think of these. If you guys would like to see more of these, by all means, please like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Let me know what you guys feel and down the bottom. If you guys enjoyed these, I will absolutely keep doing them. Trying to find something different to do than just tutorials and regular flights. Just thought this would be kind of fun to add into the mix. And uh, I know as the flight models uh, change, this is going to get much more difficult as time goes on. So figure time, is the time to practice is now. But uh, let me know, guys, and I will see you in the next one.